Hey guys, welcome to the video. This is going to be a tutorial, walkthrough, how-to guide, whatever you want to call it, on listing things using Amazon FBA. Fulfillment by Amazon, meaning they store it, they ship it, you make the money. But first, here is the, uh, the Facebook group I always talk about. Again, it's free, 2,315 members, always for free. Not everyone does that, but I do we do it's a great community come join us okay back to the video sellercentral.amazon.com that is our home page where we work from our workbench our back end we're gonna go to catalog add product right there top left corner super easy list a new product what I'm selling is this game right here the Sims 3 on Xbox 360 now notice it has this up there Whoops, on that side, one of the two. Platinum Hits. The Platinum Hits barcode is different than the classic barcode, than the regular game barcode. And even though for most of the world, it doesn't make a difference, there's always some dweeb out there who's like, oh, I only play the classic Hits games. I don't want Platinum Hits. It's garbage. So we're going to say, okay, we're going to avoid that one out of 100 return. And we're going to just go by the barcode on the back right here. Now, if you have a barcode scanner, you can scan it, but this video is for just like the absolute basics, so I'm going to be writing in the actual barcode, 014-633-731750. Alternatively, I could just type in The Sims 3 on Xbox 360. Uh, if there was an EAN or a ISBN, I could use those numbers as well. Search this. We're going to search it. It's going to pop up. Right there, The Sims 3 Platinum Hits Edition, so all those Platinum Hits lovers can, can accurately buy the games they want. We can sell it in new, collectible, or used conditions. Don't worry about collectible. That's for, like, toys or autograph books, that kind of stuff. We're focusing on new and used conditions. Also, ignore refurbished. Again, it, it doesn't matter for us right now. New and used conditions. Ours is still in the shrink wrap. Still has the barcode right there, or the sticker, I mean. Uh, it's from the manufacturer. It's new. If it was opened up, even if you never used it, it's not new. New means pristine. It means perfect. Like new does not mean new. When you're doing used, you have like new, very good, good or acceptable. And for video games, uh, if you have no manual, for example, it has to be acceptable. They have rules for different categories. You can just Google it. You can do that. If you found this video, you can find the Google. You can use that. So I've already checked out this listing. Uh, the, the 46 new, this 1520 is an Amazon Prime listing. And why is that important? Because if it wasn't Prime, if it was a merchant fulfilled listing, so if it was just like, well, we'll click on it and we'll see. If it was a, a merchant fulfilled listing, meaning not Prime, so we're going to, we're going to, not well there's no new that are that are prime so we're going to get rid of that new selection and just see all of the listings and uh what's going to show up is okay see how there's no prime badge right there this is shipped from click goodwill's warehouse wherever the heck they are this one is north northeast so or like north northeast nebraska north nebraska i don't know uh they mail them in the mail and that they don't charge shipping, they do charge shipping, they're not prime though, so they're not going to have an easy time getting the buy box. The buy box being the box you click on when you want to buy something. Since we know that this 1520 is a prime listing, uh, we're going to sell ours as new. And we're going to say, you know what, we're going to sell ours at $14.95 because uh, I want to be the lowest price. I have, I have 17 of these games right here. Well, there's more, but I mean they're all, they're all new. Uh, I got them from a, a Walmart. They they, uh, they sold them all for a dollar a piece. Woohoo! Uh, and so I'm not going to list them all 17 this way because I use a, a a platform called Inventory Lab, and that's like 50 bucks a month. But this is like the the cheapest way to do it. So for this video, I'm only doing the cheap, easy, you know, uh, basic ways. So we're undercutting the price by 25 cents. Sorry, Goodwill, jackasses. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, save and finish, right? We're going to save and finish this. So I really hope that my screen right here is not um, taking up too much valuable real estate. Choose the barcode type, Amazon barcode. Yes. 
we're going to put a barcode over the barcode, right? Barcodes on barcodes on barcodes. It's barcodeception. <laughs> Add goods. Is there a battery in here? No. Is it going to kill us if we touch it? No. <laughs> For most stuff, you're not going to be you're not going to be doing that. Let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see the buttons I click. Submit. If it was like wet weed killer or pesticide, different story, but for video games or for most things you're going to be selling, it's no batteries and no, it's not toxic waste. Save and continue to the next page. A lot of just like clicking buttons, going to the next video. It's, uh, it's kind of a arduous process in the, in the sense that there's like all this clicking and it's tedious, but once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy. We want to create a new shipping plan or add to an existing. Let's say I listed 17 of these games and I realized, oh shoot, I have one more. I could go through the process again and add to that plan, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna create a new shipping plan because that's what I'm doing now. We're creating a new shipping plan to send to Amazon so they can store them and send them out to our happy, happy customers. New shipping plan, continue. Here's the next page. Again, we just say one unit, continue. It's going to slowly go through. It should go through. I don't know why it's not. Okay, I had to move my screen to the left side because it was showing up and it was clicking that. It was not right. So we're going to continue onto the next page. We've added our one unit. Now this is the, the prep page. We don't have to prep these at all because they're you know new uh, from the manufacturer. If it was like a, a loose collectible figurine, you have to put it in a poly bag. A poly bag. Do I have any around me? I do! A poly bag. This isn't even a poly bag. It's just a regular bag. But it has this choke hazard on there. You need those for Amazon so you don't kill like 10,000 kids. Uh, we have these. It doesn't need any bagging. Uh, so there's no prepping at all. Again, we just continue. The labels. And you can print off labels on this page or, or, or uh, uh, a few steps on the line. If you do want to print them off, you have to move your webcam over to the other side of the screen again so you can see the downloaded page. Open it up, it's a PDF, and what prints off, or, uh, or what is downloaded for you to print off, is uh, this right here. This number, that's the FN SKU. That is unique to you. Only you have that number. Many people sell the Sims 3 Platinum Hits Edition, new, but only you have X0025JWTZU9. And that isn't a number that's like publicly um, shown on the listing, but you and Amazon know what it is. But how do you, okay, so how do you print these off though, right? Okay, you go to Amazon and you, uh, you say, I want to buy some 30 up Avery address labels. I want to do that. And when it loads, you will see, okay, these right here. Uh, you can buy 6,000 for 53 bucks and 99 cents. I do that. I buy as many as I can. Uh, it's like a penny per label. Not a lot of money. You print that off uh, onto a 30 up page like that. You peel it off. You put it on the back of the game. It ends up looking kind of like this. It's this size right here. I have a different label printer, but... um. So just ignore how it looks. But you put it on right there. That's how you do it. And uh, your product is, is prepped and ready to go. If you don't want to do that, you can just say, hey, you know what? I'm lazy. I want Amazon to label all my boxes or all my products. And you can say, okay, Amazon does it. And then it's 20 cents, um, 20 cents per. So you're paying 20 times more than you would if you did it yourself. Not including the, the amount of time it takes. Whatever. We're not going to talk about that. Who cares? Next page, review shipments. We only have one item, so it's one shipment. If we had more items, it might be more shipments. This one's going to San Marcos, Texas. Uh, if I had more, I think it'd be going closer, but it's not. So uh, are we going to approve this? Yeah, yeah, we are. Okay, this is it. This is our shipment right here. It's uh, FBA, whatever, that doesn't matter. We're going to work on the shipment. We go to the page. Review and modify units. Do we want to add more? You can add up to 5% or 6 units more, whatever is higher, I think. Uh, no, we're not going to change it, though. You can print off the labels here as well. It prints off the same label. It doesn't matter. You can do it either way. Sometimes I wait until this page to do it, or at least when I was using Seller Central to list more things, because then you have everything only in this shipment, 
So if your 25 items get split up into five shipments, you can do each shipment uh, one at a time and pick them out. Again, I use a, a product called Inventory Lab at this point, so I don't need to do that. But for all you new sellers, that might be helpful. We're shipping these SPD, small parcel delivery, using UPS. FedEx might be cheaper for you. UPS is cheaper for me. Um, just check, check the rates, go back and forth, do a little experimentation. LTLs, like semi-trucks, again, you're not doing that either. If you do, I have a video on that from, like, November. Um, I show how to do that. It's the same process, but you put them on a pallet, and it's for, like, big, big shipments. Share the shipment. Ignore that. You'll know what to do. If you're buying from, like, a manufacturer and you want, like, 15 cases and you want them to do it and just, like, not drop ship it, but kind of the same idea, you do that. We're not doing that. Select an option. Everything in one box, yeah, it's one item. Why not? It'll give us the option to put how much it weighs. It weighs one pound. I'm going to not put it in the dimensions because that doesn't matter. Confirm this. Calculate the price of shipping. And for $1, it's $4.14. It gets way cheaper as it goes up. Uh, generally, you're paying a quarter a pound uh, on these large shipments. This would be more for me. It'd be probably like $0.35 cents a pound um, as I scaled up. But San Marcos, Texas is not going to be what I usually sell or ship to if I have a full box. When you get a full box, so like a 49-pound box of stuff, um, and it has like over 100 units, you're paying, yeah, about a quarter of a pound, and usually it goes to the closest location. Uh, there's, It's not a public algorithm, so it's not always guaranteed, but pretty much you can know. You can be pretty sure that uh, if you have a large shipment, it's going to go close to you. And if you have small shipments, they're going to go far away. Agree to the terms and conditions. Accept the charges. Sure, we will, but just for this video. Uh, then we print off the labels. Again, it goes down on my computer. It just goes into the tab down there. Open it up. And looking at this, we're going to see, hey, this is not a regular shipment. So this one down here, this is what UPS uses. And this one up here is what FBA uses. So we're going to put it down the middle of the box where the two flaps open up. So when they cut the box open, they cut right down the middle, right there, not messing up the FBA barcodes or the UPS barcodes. Uh, what I'm going to do is just, um, and you can print that off on a, a regular printer, a regular you know, ink printer. I'm going to void the charges because I'm not actually shipping this out. Uh, and then what you can do when you're done, if you weren't voiding the charges, you would say complete shipment, but I'm not. I'm going to delete this shipment because, uh, well, I'm not sending these in. I'm just showing you a tutorial. And that's how you do it, folks. That's how Amazon FBA works. I hope this video was helpful and helped you learn about the process step by step. Join the Facebook group, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Do that. I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.